Well, this is an experience I never thought I would have. <laughs> I'm actually roller skating at Union Station. Alexa, why and how am I able to do this? <laughs> so you're here at Union Winter presented by T. It's our roller express rink. It's super exciting. Um, it's our big winter activity this year. And we're just really excited to present free roller skating right here at Union Station as a fun activity that everyone can enjoy and really make Union Station a destination in the winter time. So you guys have been open since December 1st. We have, yes. And you're going the entire month? We're going all the way to February 4th. Oh, we wow. are closed during the Christmas holidays but okay. you're open six days a week otherwise and we're here and ready for everyone to lace up a pair of skates and try out our rink. Okay let's kind of give Luke a bit of a tour. We'll kind of go around and he can capture some of the stuff. So tell me about what's going on here. Yeah so we're on our large skating surface. It's over 5,000 square feet of skating surface and it extends into the tunnel. We have some Whoop. fun lighting going on. We also have some fun booths here on the side. So we have our TD Music booth where Whoa. we have <laughs> DJs every Friday and Saturday night spinning live rinkside. Really? We do, yeah. And it's like, is one of them, one of the nights like a 19 plus? Yeah, so our Saturday is 19 plus and it's been so popular Whoa. that we had to start doing a pre-registration. So registration opens on Mondays at noon. Yeah. You can sign up for that upcoming Saturday. And every Saturday's themed. So we have a K-pop night, we have a 2000s night, Whoa. we have an R&B night. So we're really excited for people to come out and have a good time. Okay, so there's also a snack bar. There is a snack Whoa. bar with food that you can get from the Mono Union Chicken and Verse, which are restaurants here at Union Station. And we also have an Arizona activation booth. Okay. And if you're here on Saturdays, they're doing Whoa. free sampling of their Arizona hard iced tea. Oh my gosh, this is such a cool experience. And yeah. the fact that you under underneath the stars, picture this at nighttime with the lights and the stars and the people and the music, so much fun. Definitely so much fun, and we're really excited for people to come out and enjoy it. We've had people from, you know, little children and toddlers to adults, 60, 70 years old. We have people wow. coming in from all over Canada. Yeah, this um, is great for tourists. It's amazing for tourists, and it's great, but it's located really easy to find in Union Station. It's just on the lower level um, near the restaurants. And it's kind of giving people another excuse to come to Union Station as opposed to it just being a travel hub. Let's make it a destination. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it's a great place to be. It's easy to get to. Yeah. It's a fun time. It is so much fun. It's so much fun. <laughs> okay, well, coming up, we are going to be continuing our tour of Union Station and why we are trying to make it a fun destination hub, not just somewhere you travel. All of that is coming up on Morning Live. Woo! Well, you're joining us back at Union Station, and Alexa, it's been a long time since I've been here. I would like to say maybe five to ten years. So much has changed. If you haven't been to Union Station, you need to come check this out because it's from what I see, like it's turned into a mall. Like it's got shops everywhere. Absolutely. We have over 50 different retailers open now at Union Station. It truly is a shopping, retail, and culinary place to be. And as you can see behind us right now, we do have a Sephora. It's one of our newer stores. That's crazy. But I'm going to take you upstairs into one of our different retail neighborhoods, which has a lot of local Toronto and you have businesses. neighborhoods here. We do have neighborhoods. <laughs> we have travel Absolutely. neighborhoods in Union Station. <laughs> okay, so uh, the Jameson Christmas tree was pretty cool. So you're decorated for the holidays. We are You've got the Sephora. Holidays. We saw the TD. Uh, we're going up to a different area. Now, I remember this area. It was here, but there wasn't anything in it. Yes, yeah, so it's actually an area that was uh, redeveloped. And as you can see, all of our stores have beautiful heritage storefronts that were refurbished and are now home to so many local independent retailers. So we have Cocktail Emporium, um, again, a Toronto classic. We have Dresden uh, eyeglasses, which is an amazing and affordable option for people looking for uh, glasses over the holiday season. And blue eyeglasses, too. I know everyone's oh, looking yeah, at screens, screens all the time. Totally. Tao tea. And of course, uh, Forno Cultura as well. And we have a lovely little spread here of a bunch of different oh, is offerings. This for us? Absolutely. Oh, I see Danish <laughs> House too. Ready to dig in. And what's great about this neighborhood as well is that we do have pop up stores as well. So these stores are here on a temporary basis, maybe a couple months here and there. So right now we have a pop up with Lola Soaps, okay. which is a great holiday gift. I was well. going to say, like, I feel like people could really do last minute gift ideas down here. Absolutely. And if you're stuck for ideas, you can shop Union's holiday gift guide. So if you go online at torontounionca slash TD Union Winter, mm -hmm. you can see all of the amazing gifting options that we have right here at Union. It's such a convenient place if you're about to hop on a train, yeah. pick up a last minute gift. Totally. You're like, oh, I'm going to go see my aunt and uncle and I don't have anything. And you've got 
all of these wonderful options or even people coming into the city when they want to grab something for their grandkids or for their, you know, family members or, you know, co-workers or anything. This is such a great spot because so many people live and work in downtown Toronto. Absolutely. So it's definitely a great place to be to find gifts, to do some personal shopping for yourself. And also, you know, we have turned Union Station into uh, a, a retail destination. Yeah. So there's a wide variety of stores and even more opening in the coming months. All right, well, I think we should continue our shopping. Cheers. Don't mind me, I'm just chewing on my tapioca from my bubble tea that I just got in the newly opened Union Street, Union Station Market. That's what it's called, right? Union Market, that's right. We opened in May. It's one of Union's newest retail neighborhoods here and it's home to a lot of artisanal stores. Um, we have food, we have this beautiful flower store here as well, which is another great place to get gifts mm -hmm. and ornaments and all that fun stuff. But it's truly um, an amazing part of the station uh, that's opened recently. And uh, it added about more than 50,000 extra square feet of space down here. And it's truly really wow. meant to be a modern market in a historic building. Well, Toronto's got such a diverse culture when it comes to culinary. And I think it's really showcased down here. Absolutely. We have bubble tea from the alley. We have some amazing pretzels. Uh, Wetzel's have, pretzels. Uh, Wetzel's pretzels. Ooh. And we have Minotis here. And uh, she also has a stand in uh, St. Lawrence Market. She has some really amazing uh, spices, some fresh foods, some guacamoles mm. and salsas, which are truly delectable. It smells so good yes. down here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I can smell the pretzels baking. Absolutely. Mm. So it's, it's really a hidden gem in the station um, for people to, to explore and to discover and to find. And there's also some great communal tables. We have a lot of people who sit and they bring their laptop. It's a nice quiet space in the, in the station to work and get some work done. Yeah, to like come and gra grab your lunch, sit down, eat, enjoy, and then do some last minute holiday shopping. Absolutely. <laughs> and I mean, nothing screams holidays as oh, chocolates. Yes. Please. And these are truly not only delicious, but definitely works of art. These are Brigadero's, and it's another local company here. And it's my go-to for just a little sweet something as a thank you gift to someone. Yeah, such a great idea, these tiny little cute gift baskets. And I'm like obsessed right now with like olive oil and vinegar. Absolutely, and they have great little gift sets as well. So if you really want to explore all of their different flavors and infused olive oils, the gift sets are the way to go because yeah. it really gives people a sense of all the different offerings that they have. And Hi. we're actually going to treat you <gasps> to a little olive oil tasting. OK. I'm ready. Amazing. So I'm just going to bring some samples over to you here. All right. So we have an olive oil and a balsamic vinaigrette for both of us to try. Mm. These look gorgeous. Amazing. So one. The front one is Persian lime so and cranberry pear. Persian, Persian lime. lime and cranberry pear. Mm. Ooh. Oh, that's delicious. So good. So good. And what's this one? And this is Herbe de Provence and pomegranate. Ooh, All right. Herbe de Provence and pomegranate. So well, again, great unusual flavor mixing that you wouldn't anticipate, but it truly will be show-stopping if you're hosting a Christmas dinner and you want some appetizers. It's true. And you can get all of this at Union Station. If you haven't been here in a while, like me, you will love it. There's lots more coming up on Morning Live. Cheers. Beautiful art installation here at Union Station. Alexa, there's so much programming that goes on here. I had no idea it was so extensive. <laughs> yes, we have a programming team here at Union Station. Um, it's a small team of women, and we do year-round multidisciplinary programming. So everything from art exhibits to music programs to obviously our roller rink is one of our biggest activities. And it's so fun. <laughs> Truly, but we really wanted to make Union Station a cultural destination and all okay. of the programming that we offer is free. So whether you want to stop in for a dance, um, Yeah, you have DJs. We have DJs, DJs. Yeah. So we have come. a program called Union Beats. Uh, it's sponsored by TD. And we work with the Remix Project, which is a local arts organization. And so every month we have a resident DJ. Yeah. And they spin twice a week in Union Station. So you can find them in the food court. You can find them in Union Market. And they really do set a fun vibe oh, here at the yeah. station. Like, you know, because sometimes travel can be really stressful and really hectic. And you said that you have a ghost piano upstairs? We do. We have the Steinway Spirio piano. It's a beautiful, magical piano that plays itself. That's so it's super here for cool. the holiday season. And until um, uh, December 23rd. Wow. And right now we're actually sitting in the heart of Union Market and you can see behind us some of the artists part of the Union Alley exhibit. So this um, 
Viz with Artworks TO, and it's a beautiful project. We have a full yeah, ceiling of it's this really collage cool. of photographs, and it was photographs that the artist took as me, um, but also that he crowdsourced from different neighborhoods around Toronto. You can kind of recognize little spots, Absolutely. Right? I know that people have walked through this space and been like, that's in my neighborhood. That's so, so cool. A really creative piece that, that feels like it represents the city and that people can recognize you know, themselves in, mm -hmm. it's truly important to us. We really want to make Union Station a place where everyone feels welcome and, and seen as recognized. So 2024, big things coming up? Big things coming up, yes. So we're currently working right now on our Black History Month exhibit. It's called Black Dreams and Aspirations. So we're partnering with Make Room. They're a local organization as well, um, run and led by Trevor Twells, who's an amazing um, artist and curator himself. Um, and their organization is really about opening doors for a lot of um, BIPOC artists who may not have um, access to some of the gallery spaces. So we work and we've done an open call for submissions That's great. for artwork um, for local artists that kind of responds to the theme of black dreams and aspirations. So and if that people want to find out more, how do they get connected with you? Absolutely. So you can find all this information at torontounion.ca. Awesome. And so that exhibit will go live in February. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for the immersive experience because that's exactly <laughs> what I feel like we have had here today. Amazing. Union Station, the place to be, not just a uh, travel hub, but a actual tourist destination right in the heart of the city. Cheers, Alexa. Cheers.